Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. I'm still out at the retreat location, getting ready to head off the mountain with my cameraman to get some lunch. I thought this would be a good opportunity to demonstrate how crossband repeat works on an ICOM ID5100 Alpha D-Star mobile radio. I also have the ICOM 51 Alpha handheld with me. And what we're going to do here is set the mobile up in the car for crossband repeat. I'll take the handheld with me. We're going to head downtown and get some lunch, go off the mountain. But from this position up here on the mountain, I have no problems hitting a repeater in Maryland from West Virginia. It's the Bluemont repeater, 147-300. I'm going to come up simplex mode from town on the handheld into the vehicle, and the vehicle is going to retransmit that out on VHF to the Bluemont repeater. I'm going to hand the camera off to the cameraman, and we'll start pushing some buttons on the control head and setting this up. Okay, so we have our AVFO set up to access the Bluemont repeater in Maryland from here in West Virginia. Now we're going to come over to the BVFO and set up our simplex frequency that I'm going to use while I'm in town. And that's going to be a UHF frequency because this is cross-band repeating. We're going to come up from town on UHF and then the mobile in the vehicle is going to retransmit that out on VHF to that repeater. So we got the right frequency in there. We're 25 kilohertz above the national calling frequency. We're going to come back over here to the A mode and I'm going to press and hold the A button. And now we have both VFOs showing on the display. We're ready to put this into crossband repeat mode. Now one of the things I've also done is already pre-adjusted the squelch for each VFO and I've turned the volume down for each VFO. Now we come into the menu. We're on page three of three here. You can see that in the corner. I'll go up to page one of three and come down to two of three and then three of three in others. And there we have repeater mode, repeater mode again and enter repeater mode operation we're going to select yes so now we're linked up now this is actually a repeater so when I transmit from town simplex on 446025 the mobile is going to route that over to the repeater the vehicle up here at its strategic location having good line of sight to that repeater in Maryland will retransmit and we'll have communications another nice feature ICOM included in this radio that works really well is the ability to remove the control head and leave the radio on so to access that feature, I'm going to disable the repeater function momentarily. I'm going to come into the menu. We're going to come up to page two of three in the menu, come to function, and in here it says power off with no control head, and we have that turned off. So I'm actually going to be able to remove this control head. Nobody will know there's a radio in this car. It's kind of like incognito. We'll be running a crossband repeater from up here without the control head. We're just going to leave the vehicle parked and nobody will be none the wiser. We have the volume turned down and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of here, go back to the menu. We're going to come into others again, repeater mode, repeater mode again. We're going to turn it back on. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the control cable. The radio is still on and I can put this in my glove box or stow this away. And nobody would ever know that I'm running a crossband repeater in this vehicle. We're going to go ahead and pause here, hop in the vehicle, head in town for some lunch, and get to demonstrate how crossband repeating can work from downtown, up here on the mountain, out to a repeater in Maryland. All right, we got some lunch. We're down here in the valley. I think these are the tracks of Terminus. We're here next to the river, surrounded by mountains. We got the repeater operating in the truck up on the mountain up there. I got the ICOM ID51 Alpha handheld set up on a simplex UHF frequency and we're going to place a call from here up to the mountain and then the crossband repeater is going to go out to that repeater in Maryland so let's see if we can make a connection CQ from K1DOS does anybody copy this portable station CQ from K1DOS we're definitely getting into the repeater because the repeater is responding We'll just see if there's anybody out there to answer. This is Whiskey Four Sierra Delta Mike. Whiskey Four Sierra Delta Mike. This is K1DOS. Name is Hank, and I'm operating portable in West Virginia through a crossband repeater. Doing a demonstration. I have your station full quieting. How copy this station? Uh, this is K1DOS. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to come back to my call, and uh, best 73s, and I hope you have a great afternoon. Thank you very much, Hank. Uh, Dean here is Sean for the logbook. Call sign is Whiskey Four Delta Mike, operating portable in uh, Centerville, Virginia, at 5 watts. Back to you. 
Roger that on the 5 watts. I'm running 5 watts from a handheld up to an ICOM ID5100 Alpha D-Star Mobile configured for crossband repeat. Seventy three is from K one DOS. Well there you have it guys, there's a good demonstration of how you can use crossband repeating to gain a strategic advantage for radio communications by properly placing the mobile at a good location and then allowing your portable devices to leverage that location and the extra power of a mobile radio. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with another field demonstration of radio communications. And a little advice, don't travel down that way. Thanks for watching, guys.